Zenbooks are the epitome of premium laptops, bringing class and elegance to business and creator worlds. The Zenbook Pro 15 OLED UP6502 is a powerful convertible with 12th Gen H-Series processors and a screen to die for. The laptop is flexible, not literally, thanks to its 360-degree hinge. It exudes quality thanks to the aluminum construction and glass display cover, which makes it rigid and sturdy. Sturdy enough to pass the MIL STD810H certification tests for durability, which include drops, vibrations, shocks, and extreme temperatures, among others. The hinge has the trademark ErgoLift mechanism, which lifts up the back end for better airflow and ergonomics. All of that results in a weight of 1.8 kilograms and a thickness of just 18.9 millimeters, which are ingredients of a portable machine. On the base, there's a full-sized keyboard with an optional backlight. Typing on it is fantastic, with a 1.4 millimeter key travel. The keys are tactile and have a dish design, so your fingers rest on them more effortlessly, while the spacing between each keycap is big enough to give you a more spacious feeling. The touchpad offers an anti-fingerprint finish, which is still incredibly smooth. We can't forget the camera setup on the top bezel, which packs an HD webcam with ambient light sensor and an RGB sensor. The former adjusts the brightness, depending on how well lit the environment is, while the latter matches the color temperature so you get more accurate colors. There's also an IR sensor for Windows Hello facial recognition. The hardware is complemented by some very clever AI software, which allows for temporal noise reduction when you're video conferencing, as well as AI noise reduction to your voice, making your speech sound more clear. The port selection is impressive, with two Thunderbolt 4 ports and an audio jack on the right, as well as one USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, an HDMI 2.0 port, and a micro SD card reader. All of these pale in comparison when you take a look at the 2.8K 120Hz OLED panel. It's the defining feature of the laptop, providing exceptional colors and deep blacks, regardless of the lighting conditions. The panel has a peak brightness of 400 nits in SDR and up to 550 nits in HDR content. It also covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, which is enough for every type of creative professional. The OLED panel is Pantone validated and calibrated out of the box with a DE value of 1.2, which means great accuracy. There are further color settings inside the My Asus app, which can control the color gamut as well as having different dimming modes. Furthermore, thanks to this being the flip version, we've got support for the Asus Pen 2.0, which comes with the laptop in some markets, so you better double check with your retailer of choice. The pen offers 4,096 pressure levels of sensitivity, along with interchangeable tips. The higher refresh rate really makes the overall experience feel much smoother, as scrolling and moving the mouse around is more fluid than ever. The display uses some PWM. However, ASUS gives you the option for flicker-free dimming, which stops it completely while not having any significant effect on the accuracy, elevating the DE value slightly to 1.6. The Zenbook's got a stereo Harman Kardon setup with Dolby Atmos support, and while it is bottom firing, when you use the device in tablet or tent mode, the sound will be coming towards you. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The battery almost hits the limit with its capacity of 96 watt hours, and that reflects on its endurance, lasting for 12 hours and 37 minutes of web browsing or 11 hours and 7 minutes of video playback. That's while running a 45 watt Core i7-12700H, a 14 core CPU that easily takes care of whatever work you throw at it. It's especially good at video rendering, where the integrated Iris XE GPU can put its encoding capabilities to work. If you want a feel for the next gen of technology, there's an ARC A3750M, which brings AV1 encoding support as well as much more GPU performance. The ARC GPU still has some kinks to iron out, however, it's getting there, more slowly than surely. We still believe Intel can be a good entrant into the GPU market, 
and hope they don't give up after a few speed bumps. Keeping things cool is left to the Ice Cool Plus setup, which has two heat pipes and two fans with 91 blades each. The setup is made with the purpose of keeping the hardware performing while being as quiet as possible. In normal mode, the device doesn't go over 40 decibels, being dead silent most of the time. In our stress tests, the cooling can keep the Core i7-12700H running at 55 watts in long runs, while spiking as high as 70 watts in the first few seconds, so expect short burst performance to be great. The ARC graphics don't go above 29 watts, however, it keeps a high clock speed of 2050 MHz even after 30 minutes. There is noticeable noise when under full load, however, most of the time, the fans are completely silent. The base also doesn't heat up at all, with a temperature of just 35 degrees Celsius. As in most thin notebooks, the DDR5 memory of this Zenbook is soldered, so choose your configuration wisely. For storage, there's one M.2 slot for ultra-fast Gen 4 drives. We have a separate teardown video that goes into the teardown procedure in more detail. The ZenBook Pro 15 Flip is a device for every serious creative professional that wants his technology to speak just as much as his work does. It's an elegant machine that doesn't shy away from being very powerful while bringing the benefits of the Intel Evo platform, including Wi-Fi 6E for fast speeds. All in all, it feels like a complete package that can work hard and have fun in one device. The only real drawback is the fact that you can't order it with more than 16GB of RAM, but we know that more than 90% of users would still get the 16 gigs option. For a deeper look, don't forget to go over to our website, where we have more comprehensive testing.